Chapter 2 Creating Walls Step 1 Creating Exterior Walls In this chapter, we will start to actually build up the project from scratch by first creating the vertical structures of the Macero House. To spare drafting time, we will import a 2D DWG floor plan to start from as a basis. Note that although we will be working in the floor plan view, we will create intelligent 3D building elements. To start the exercise, let's create a new independent worksheet using the document Documenting Tools Create Independent Worksheet menu command. Enter W01 for the reference ID field and DWG Walls for the name field. The new worksheet will open up automatically. Worksheets are viewpoints which serve as a drawing environment for any kind of 2D drawing you need to produce. They are used for those types of drawings that do not have a dedicated viewpoint type, for example, details, site maps, and so on. In the worksheet window, use the File, External Content, Place External Drawing menu command. Find the walls.dwg file located next to the project file in the same folder. Select it and click the Open button to import it. In the appearing dialog, make sure that the value of the set value of one drawing unit in field is set to one inch. Click the Place button and click anywhere in the worksheet window to place the drawing. Switch to the view map of the navigator. Select the first preset view in the Creating Exterior Walls folder. Switch to the project map and find the W1DWG Walls worksheet. Right click on it. From the context menu, select Show as Trace Reference. Zoom out if needed and notice that the content of the worksheet appears under the floor plan. Click the Drag Reference command of the Trace and Reference palette located in the left part of your user interface. Move the whole Trace Reference such that the topmost node of the wall geometry within the Trace Reference is located at the point of Label Arrow 1.1. Click the Switch Reference with Active button in the Trace and Reference palette to switch to the worksheet. Select the placed drawing and use the Edit, Reshape, Explode into Current View menu command. In the appearing dialog, select the Keep Drawing Primitives Only radio button and click OK. The drawing is now exploded and it will now be a group of lines and fills. Now, select all elements in the worksheet and apply the Edit, Grouping, Ungroup menu command to them. Click the Switch Reference with Active button again to switch back to the ground floor plan. We will use the wall lines and fills from the DWG file as references for creating our walls. As you can see, the Virtual Trace technology in ARCHICAD makes it possible to work on any 2D views in the context of the 3D virtual building. In this way, it combines traditional 2D workflows with the productivity of 3D modeling. Now let's start our 3D virtual building experience. In the Navigator, switch back to View Map as we will activate several preset views in the coming steps. In the Favorites palette, Activate the Wall 1 Favorite by double-clicking its name in the list. Make sure that the Wall tool is set to Chained Geometry Method. This will create a chain of straight wall segments. By clicking successively on the locations defined by the points of the label arrows shown on the floor plan, draw a chain of three walls forming a triangle. Follow the numbering. First, click on the location at the point of label arrow 1.1 then on the location at the point of label 1.2, and so on. When the intelligent cursor snaps to the point of a label arrow, its shape changes to a check mark or a filled pencil. 
This way, you will not miss the points. Even if you do, it's very easy to correct the mistake. Simply push the backspace key on your keyboard to delete only the last drawing segment of the wall chain, and then redraw it correctly. Activate the next preset view. A new set of labels appears on the floor plan, showing another part of the plan. Generally, the name of the preset view will tell you the name of the favorite that needs to be used in the step. In this case, 2.1.2 is the number of the step, and wall 1 is the name of the favorite to be used. Forward slash 2 is an indication that it is the second element or element group created using that favorite. So in this step, you do not need to activate a new favorite. The preset view's name still calls for the favorite called wall 1. Create the walls the same way they were created before. The way you can finish creating an open wall chain is to double click at the last node. Should the wall chain be closed, this step is not needed. ARCHICAD will automatically finish it. Follow these easy steps until you get to the 2.1.5 preset view. The name of the view contains wall 2. This means you need to activate that favorite. Do so by double clicking the wall 2 favorite in the favorites palette list. Create the walls the same way you did before. Continue activating the preset views, ending with the view 2.1.15. For each activated view, create the walls called for by the label arrows using the wall 2 favorite. Switch to the next preset view and choose the wall 3 favorite. Create the walls called for by the label arrows. Select the two wall places you just created, clicking both while holding down the shift key. Use the edit, display order, send to back menu command so these walls will not overlap the other walls. Select the next Finished Exterior Walls preset view to see what you've created so far.